all right good day and good afternoon and welcome to blendly stretching yeah, and it's a it's a chill day today so no makeup or anything like that i'm just wearing a, a simple dress but fun fact i'm actually wearing um heels just to try and learn how to walk in them so you always have to do this in your downtime uh, yeah not there yet, but we'll get there um, but it's actually not about this shoe I've talked about this shoe a few times but we don't so we don't need to talk about it um, today's review is actually on one of my favorite shoes um, and actually I didn't buy this shoe my sister got it for me for my birthday da -da -da -da. so this is Giuseppe Zanotti oh I forgot the name of the shoe anyway um, I'll put it it's like nope forgot the name of the shoe um, in this like burgundy velvet with crystals on there let me try and get closer so it focuses on focus on the crystals I don't know how to make it do that how about there yeah look at this shoe look at the details look at it look at it and then it's sister Ta -da. <laughs> so obviously it's the same shoe sorry I didn't do up the straps um, this shoe is absolutely stunning um, and actually today in regular light it's looking on the purple side of things um, but on camera it's definitely looking burgundy so it changes up depending on the weather <laughs> um, yeah so this one I am like this is one of my favorite shoes and I'm actually surprised that I haven't done a review for this I think I've just been holding on to it for, for some reason. Uh, but anyway, yes, um, this shoe, my sister got it from the Real Real for my birthday. Uh, funny things, this was on my um, luxury wish list, and I was looking for this shoe. I was actually looking for it, um, but somehow she found it and bought it without me seeing it at all. Um, and then she got it for me for my birthday. Um, and I absolutely love the shoe. She got the, um, if you can see, this is not the super, super high inclined there's two types there's one at this level and there's another one that's a bit more steep um i don't care i don't mind these are comfortable i've already moved on to comfort <laughs> um but yeah i don't i don't care i don't mind i just love the shoe so much um and i'm so happy that we actually have it in our collection um so she got it from the real real um it didn't come in its original box unless it did and i've misplaced it because right now i keep it in a different box so that might be on me. I think yeah, it came in a black box, which is a Giuseppe Zanotti. You know what? That might be on me. I might have lost the original box anyway. Um, but I've got like Giuseppe Zanotti dust bag. Anyway, um, you probably don't care much about that. But um, yeah, she got it from the real real. Uh, I don't know how much it was, uh, considering it was a present. Um, but it's usually like above the 300 dollar mark if I'm not mistaken sometimes it can be within the $200 range there's lots of sales lots of discounts and things like that that will allow it for for the shoe like if I, it's more like if you know what this is then you'll price it high but if you don't know and you're just listing then you're likely to price it lower um, there's different versions of this one there's like uh, a pink velvety suede looking one um, there's different there's a floral there's so many different types I'll try and put them up somewhere <laughs> um, so you can have a look um, but yeah it's a very classic style um, for Giuseppe Zanotti um, and it's wonderful okay let's go into comfort comfort I would say mm -mm, 9 out of 10 there is nothing uncomfortable about them yeah nothing uncomfortable usually with my wide ass feet the problem is always a little bit of pinching um, when my feet enter whatever shoe right but the way this is structured it actually allows my feet to just really slide through and be comfortable um, so I really would say 9 out of 10 there's no pinching no problems wore this to New Year's and it was so much fun um, yeah I guess comfort I would just have to go with 9 out of 10 this is me going cautiously um, I would never give well I wouldn't say never but I haven't given out a 10 out of 10 just on the off chance that you know what I haven't worn this shoe in a while let me try it again and or maybe it's not so comfortable there's just always going to be something so uh, 9 out of 10 me being cautious um, sizing it's a size 39 exact and it fits exact I think I've said before Giuseppe Zanotti is always true to size um, you am I going to contradict myself no yeah let's just go Giuseppe Zanotti always true to size um, <laughs> yeah from from 
the shoes that I've gotten, they've always been true to size. So that's that's what I would say about them. Um, what else is there? Uh, quality. Looks good to me. Um, looks really good to me. No issues whatsoever. So I've, I've worn them already. Um, there's no issues whatsoever anywhere that I've seen. Um, yeah, all the crystals look like they're in place. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Um, buckles are good. Holes in the thingy are good. There's no pulling or anything like that. These are the usual places that you have like the first types of pulling. Um, but everything is looking good. So I would have to give it 5 out of 5 in terms of quality. Um, why don't I sound more excited about that? Quality is fantastic. I'm not out here trying to look for bad things. It's good. No issues. No problems so far. Um, I guess it might change. But so far it's fantastic quality so um i hold up the sister just so that we're sharing the love um so i've talked about sizing i've talked about uh quality i've talked about where we got it from um i would say styling i usually do um a simple block color so i've worn these with like a black uh loose play suit white dress yeah that's kind of <laughs> like i usually do like black or white or something solid um, but you can do really whatever you want with this shoe. I would just go because it is quite loudy, um, it's loudy a word, and uh, quite festive. I think the velvet makes it really um, fancy and festive. I would go with something simple um, on top. Um, yeah. And I think I've always gone relatively something like above the knee. Not super short, but just not too long either. But I suppose you can style it in whatever way you want. I just prefer to go with simple block colors because this then is the star of the outfit. Um, what else is there? I've talked about sizing, right? Yes. What else is there in the shoe review? I've done a bunch of these and I still never ever remember as I go through. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Must be all. Okay, look, if I've gotten anything, <laughs> just let me know. Uh, yeah, I think we're, we're loving this shoe so much and... Um, I might be biased, but so far it's proved its worth in terms of comfort, it's to, in terms of quality. Everything has worked out so well for this shoe, so there is a reason to have a bias. Um, I love it so much. Uh, if you can get your hands on these, either the lower size or the, sorry, lower height of the heel or the higher heel, you won't regret it, um, as long as you get your right size. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful, and I will keep these for years and years and years and years. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching today's video, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, make sure to click on another one and have a look at all my love for shoes. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Bye.